everyone welcome back to my channel and um, this is actually a small review to show you um well a review on my show pony palette um i got this palette in ja uh, i think about in february my birthday was in january but i think i got this in february from my sister and um it, i've been using it for this month, it was one of my go-to palettes for this month, so I thought I'll share it with you. And this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it does come with a small Urban Decay primer, the original one, but I did not get it with that because I think she repurchased this on eBay for me, and in the person then had it in their listing. And this is what I got. I did get the um, eye pencil, which is a, like a travel size, and this is in zero. Now I didn't use this. Um, actually open it and use this yet because I have I bought a full size zero and I still have it here so I'll actually swatch it for you but this these are the six colors that it comes with here we have snatch this one is mildew flash this blue hair is called painkiller smog is this brown hair and toasted so these are the six colors and I will do swatches and I will just so the, the the eyeliner that you get is actually part of the 24 7 glide on eye pencil and it's a black and this is what it looks two swatches and I'll just do one swatch so that's it one swatch here and this is two swatches and usually you need to wait a little while for these to set and generally they don't smudge i find it smudging me i have very oily lids so that these do smudge after a while um but they do get i do get a better stain power with them than with a lot of the other liners so that i find if i um gonna have a long day i will generally use this or if i'm going somewhere where you no know, i'm gonna be outdoors and i'm gonna sweat or if i'm going to the beach or to the pool i would use this liner so now it has been here for like maybe 30 seconds and as you can see it still smudges. So I will test this again um, after the video so you can see how well it lasts. So on to the swatches. Um, the first one I'll do is snatch because it's a, um, a highlight. It's like a highlight color you could also use this on the lid. It's a peachy color with gold flexes and it's actually very chunky. To go. I'm not sure if you can see it. No, I'm not trying to flip anyone here. <laughs> So that's what it looks like on my finger swatch, and I'll do a swatch on my hand. I'm not sure if you can see the glitters here. I think you should be able to see the flex or the reflection of it. So what I generally do though, I actually can use this color as um, a brow bone color or in a tear dot. And what I do is that after I put my brush in it, I tap it off. Generally, when I tap it off, a lot of the glitter just goes and I just get the, the peachish color that's here, which is really nice. Um, I hardly ever use um, the, this color snatch with the glitter. I don't like it. I generally just tap my brush off just to get off the glitter. Um, next is Mildew. And this is one of my favorite greens of all time. It reminds me of an Inglot green that I have. And that's a swatch of it. No, I don't have any primer or anything on my hands. Okay, so um, these have been swatched on my hand. And next is Flash, which is this purple color. Now, the green, sorry, reminds me a lot of, like, um, golden olive, like a darker golden olive color. So, um, it has a golden undertone to it, so that's why. So, this is actually Flash. And it's like a, a pearlesque, per, um, purple has like a sheen to it, satin. I think it looks more like silver undertones. And then for the bottom colors, Painkiller, which is this bright, bright blue, very, very pigmented. And see, as you can see, how pigmented, pigmented uh, it is. It has like silver. Silver and tone is more of a satin finish. So mildew flash and pink color are more satin. None of these colors are matte, by the way. So, um, actually no. I think pink color 
is more of a frost than a satin. I just looked at it, so sorry about that. Smog is a nice, gorgeous brown. Love, love, love this for my crease. This is like amazing for the crease. Not flipping anyone again. And swatch on my hand. As you can see, it's a rich, rich brown. So that's it here. Really, really, really. I love this. I actually, I'll tell you what are some of my combos that I use. But I use this almost for a whole, for a whole week. I use it for a whole week without using anything. And this is toasted, the last one. It's also another brown. This one is more taupey. This is actually more of a golden brown. Whereas toasted, it could, it's a brown, but it has like, um, maybe a little silver. But a lot of people say it's more like a taupey brown. But yeah, and this is also a frost. So yeah, that's what it looks on my hand. If you can see, so you get it like. So these are the colors that look like closer up. So this is toasted smog painkiller. Um, and the purple is called flash, mildew, and snatch. So that's what they look like. Now these are really, 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 really pigmented. There is no doubt in terms of pigmentation. I can tell that even Snatch, which has a lot of gold, gold fallout. Um, well, what I did is that for neutral looks, of course, I will do use these three. But also, if I want a still um, kind of natural neutral look, I would use the green. I and these. These actually last really long. I've actually used like the blue and the purple and this. Um, I use this to deepen the crease a lot of times. And I just use strictly this part. But my favorite combo for neutral, of course, would be this on the lid, this in the crease, and this is a um, highlighter. Um, but I also like to use this on the lid, this in the crease, and this as a highlighter for also another simple, natural, quick look. I tend to... I have a tendency to use a lot of greens. I don't know why. It's like my go-to color, to be honest. Um, in a lot of palettes um, that I have, if I have a green that's green that's around this color, I tend to gravitate towards it. So, um, and this in a little lighter. So, hence, if you saw my um, last face of the day, no, not the last one, because I think the last one I did was earlier today with this look, if you can see, which has been on my eyes for... 13 hours, so I've had all my makeup for 13 plus hours. 14 actually, now it's 10. I thought it was 9. And I've had all my makeup since before 8 o'clock this morning. Yes, yeah, so that would be my last face of the day. But the one before that, um, I actually had my comfort zone palette. And you see that the green there I actually used out. Um, I actually hit pan on that one. So that's my simple review about the Show Pony palette. From Urban Decay, love it. The packaging is a little kind of crazy. Don't too too like the packaging, to be honest. Comes with a decent mirror. You can actually fold it back, just like the naked palette, which a lot of people like to do. And these are the six colors. Again, we have Snatch, Mildew, Flash, Painkiller, Smog, and Toasted. And it also comes with a travel size, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Zero. And a swatch of everybody is here and as I promise I'll pass my hand for you to see how it smears oops I had on oops sorry actually I had eyeshadow on but as you can see after a while it has a pretty decent stain power it doesn't come off that much but it's not the blackest of black eyeliner just to let you know that there is a darker color by Urban Decay and it's called Perfusion that is darker than this and gives you true black just so you know, this is just my opinion, my 100% opinion on the Show Pony palette. I love Urban Decay products. Um, I definitely support them more than MAC. And I will definitely recommend this. And if this ever finished, I will definitely repurchase if it's available. So thanks again everyone for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, feel free to inbox me or leave a comment below. Bye-bye.